people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com, and I got a killer lesson for you today, which is going to incorporate a killer practice routine. But we're going to make it musical, and with this practice routine, we're going to work on things like your rhythm and timing, your chord changing, embellishing chords to get some different sounds, as well as changing strum patterns from measure to measure. So this is gonna challenge you a little bit. If you're in the beginner, beginner, like late beginner or intermediate beginner stages of your guitar journey, this is a great exercise because it's really gonna push you to the next level. You gotta remember, keep challenging yourself to play harder songs, harder chord changes, harder strum patterns, harder rhythms, right? Because that's what's gonna get you to the next level. And once you get a hard exercise down, hard progressions down, man, it makes the easy stuff like butter. And this exercise is also going to incorporate bar chords. So you're going to be changing um, um, between opens and bars and then playing changes between bar chords. Now, if you're not up to bar chords yet, don't worry. Just leave that part of the exercise out and just use the open chord part. All right. And work up to once you start you, uh, getting good with bar chords and learning them, then you can incorporate them in too. Remember, like I always say, it all starts with the sounds and you wanna make it musical sounding. You just don't wanna learn chords for chords sakes. You wanna put them in your progressions, use them in your songs, use the embellishments and, um, and make it interesting and musical. And this way it will stay with you throughout your guitar journey. There's lots of chords in this exercise, so don't let it intimidate you. You can do it. I'm gonna show you the chords we're gonna do first, then we'll go over the patterns, how we're gonna change them, how we're gonna change the strum patterns is really gonna add a lot of flavor to your playing too. Remember, if you're playing the same chords all the time, same strum patterns, same rhythms, same you know timing uh, or speed, right? You're gonna get bored really, really fast. They get old after a while and you gotta learn how to embellish chords and, and, and add some new life to it. I'm doing this lesson on an on a, uh, electric. Yeah, no, I'm doing this lesson on an acoustic, but you could use electric if that's what you have. This is a Taylor GS5. My favorite acoustic guitar has a cedar top and uh, tropical American mahogany back and sides. Um, has a killer tone to it. Um, so anyway, you'll see the chords here. I'll go through them really quick so you know them. So here's the chords. E major, add your pinky to that G string, and you have an E sus4. A major, add your pinky to the B string at the third fret and you have an A sus4. D major, add your pinky to the high E string third fret, and you have a D sus4. C major, add your pinky to the D string on the third fret, and you have a C sus4. C add four, use that high E string. Uh, a minor, I know your stock A minor chord, remove the first finger, A suspended second. Uh, G major, Play it with your pinky like this in this voicing, right? Because we need that first finger on that C note for the embellishment. Right? And then if you add your that G add four. Um, D minor chord. And then if you add your pinky third fret high E string again, you get a D sus four. I'll throw in an F major seven as the high E string open. And then add your pinky to the third fret on the G string. And you have kind of an F sus4. Just don't play the high E string, because uh, it sounds a little dissonant when you do. Uh, C major, and if you take off that first finger, C major seventh. On that D major chord, if you take off that second finger, you have a D suspended second. A major again, take off that third finger, you have an A suspended second. We're gonna go F bar chord, G bar chord, and A bar chord, and then B minor to an F sharp major on the sixth string root to a C sharp minor fifth string root right above it, G sharp major, E flat minor sixth fret on the A string right above that, B flat major. And we'll end, let's say, on F sharp major. 
Lots of chords, but you probably know most of those already. If you don't know the embellishments, they're easy. You're just adding that pinky in there or taking off a finger, and that adds that extra note, that extra interval to really make the chord jazzed up and, and sounding a lot, a lot more interesting, especially when you play it right next to that major or minor chord, okay? So here's what we're going to do. You're going to play, for instance, we'll just stay on the first change, which is E to an E sus4 by just adding that pinky to the second fret of the G string. Right? Now listen what happens when I play them together next to each other. Okay? You get that little, you're using the same strum pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up. Add the pinky. Off pinky. Add the pinky. That's what you're going to do for all the chords. You're just going to add the pinky. Oh, I'm playing the A major, D major. Add that pinky. Oh, so you hear all the interest we're creating. Now, this is an exercise, but you can do that in your songs and in your other progressions, right? Okay, so let's do that, but let's make it a little bit trickier and change the strum pattern each time. This is going to be challenging. I'm pushing you to the next level, good people. So, for the first measure, like, again, we'll stay on this E major chord. Let's do a strum pattern like down, 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 up, down. Okay, that'll be the pattern on the first chord. Down, 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 up, down. I'm just grabbing the strings. If you're not familiar with that pattern, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Play along. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. You put it on the E chord. Down, down. Just the low E string first. Kind of bounce off the low root note. Down, 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 down. Little variation. Down, 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 down. Okay, the second pattern will be the one I showed you before. Down, down, up, up, down. Put them back to back without changing the chord. Staying on the E chord, it'll sound like this. Get that down first. Down, down, up. Go through the chords like that. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Right? You can go through the whole string and I'll write that whole string out later so you can copy it down on a piece of paper and you could have it sitting there next to you, right? Um, as you go through these. Okay, so here's the main goal to get to this point where you can do the strum pattern on the first chord, the E major, down, 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 up, down, up. Then add the pinky, add the embellishment for the second part of the strum. The down, down, up, up, down. So you get on the E, down, 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 up, down, up. Add the pinky, down, down, up. Sound nice? Check it out. Down, 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 up, down, up at the pinky. Down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, pinky. Pinky off. Pinky on. Okay? And you do the same thing for all the chords on the A chord, the second chord. At the pinky. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, D major, E7, 
gives us two. Second finger up, A major. Third finger up, Ace us two, A major. Down, down, up, up, far chord M. G, A. Stay on the A, a little extra, same thing again, M. exercise there you go right now if you uh, are trying this with everything with the strum patterns changing and the suspensions but you're stuck on a given chord right you can't make a change in time then just go back and, and practice that one chord like the A minor to the G if you're not familiar with that G change that might be a little hard for you right so just practice the mechanics of just that one change back and forth five minutes a day Whatever change you're struggling with, circle it. Write down the progression on a piece of paper, circle those changes, go back and do it. This might take you, you know, three, four weeks to get down if you're not familiar with these techniques, especially changing the strum patterns. You know, and at first, strum slow. Remember, the faster you go, the faster you're gonna have to make your change, right? So you wanna start this very slow at first. Stay on each chord two, three times. So you can really feel that. exercise and it's really going to push you to the next level playing an exercise where there's 15 20 different chords in it then you go learn a song you're working on that has four chords in it. it's like oh my god this is so easy right after doing an exercise like this so plus it sounds musical you'll learn lots of new chords and you'll also learn how to uh, change up the strum pattern on each measure and um, you can use those chords in your songs and your progressions and your other practicing. So have fun with them. I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, if you'd like a, a free video lesson that's not on YouTube, um, click on that link below and I'll send you a free lesson that comes with a free ebook. Check it out. Lots of great information in there. I wrote uh, lots of chord diagrams and, and different uh, scale diagrams and whatnot. Um, be sure to click subscribe and subscribe, subscribe to our videos here on YouTube because I'll send you a message when we have new ones out. And also, don't forget, go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com. There's over 1,100 lessons on the site. Jam tracks, written lessons, guitar form. It's packed. The lessons are broken down. It's very structured into beginner, intermediate, advanced, all genres of music. You really get your playing to the next level. Um, it's just an in-depth curriculum. Um, uh, and uh, we're constantly adding new material. And there's a three-day free pass right on the homepage. So you can give the site a great test drive a good test drive for three days and check it out. You might like it, right? I'm David Taub, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. Really appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate your support over the years and years and years that we've been doing this and we're going to keep bringing it. Thanks so much. Keep putting those guitars in your hands every day. Enjoy the journey. Keep on rocking.